intellectual property is an intangible property. Unlike the usual uh, properties that we see. It's like um, if you have a house, then you put a fence to the house to, to demarcate your property. Here, intellectual property is, is just like that, physical property. Here, we're putting a fence, but it's an intangible fence in which it is made up of something that you created. Intellectual property is, is uh, protected through the law, particularly the IP Code of the Philippines, Republic Act 8293, which protects the expressions of the human mind that can be either through devices, processes, or literary or artistic works. There are several types of IPs. One would be patents, and patents uh, is in the realm of devices and processes. If you invented a new smartphone or a, a new hardware for that matter, a new camera, a new speaker, that falls under patents. A second one would be utility models. Utility models are also called petty patents. These are just like patents, however, uh, the one that differs there is that they protect incremental improvements. We have heard of, uh, of various sayings that when a technology is uh, out there, don't buy it yet because there will be errors to that uh, technology. And those correction of errors are protected by utility models. Third would be the uh, trademarks or service marks. Okay? The, trade, the famous trademarks that, uh, uh, that you see around. Of course, the university seal, uh, we, we applied for protection. Next would be uh, trade secrets. Okay? Now, trade secrets are just like the formulation of a soft drink or a formulation of, uh, of a fried chicken, for example. Okay? Those are protected by trade secrets. And lastly, the copyrights. And this will fall under the uh, literary and artistic domain. So drawings, architecture, books, pamphlets, lectures, uh, video programs such as these will be protected under copyrights. We implement the IP policy, for example, when, we, when I receive disclosures, so I assess them. Let's say a faculty researcher invented a new device. Okay? So what we do is that I let them uh, accomplish a form, okay? and then from that form, I do an in-depth uh, patent search to see whether it already exists in, uh, in the world. Okay? Because if it exists in the world, we will not be able to protect it. Although there is no data to, to, to tell whether infringement is high. Personally, I would say because of uh, this situation, I believe that uh, infringement and plagiarism is, uh, is rising. Because it's very easy. Pre-pandemically, uh, there was already a challenge on copy-pasting, especially now. When everything is already, everything is online, everything is very easily accessible. Okay, example, photos. Like if I'm going to make a lecture, I just type in, in uh, using the Google search engine, Google Photos, then I can place it in my, in my uh, presentation without even citing. Now, just the mere, mere act of citing where the, where the source came, that is already good practice. Okay, and infringement can be lessened by by citing these sources. Everything that we create can be protected by intellectual property as long as they are original. Okay? Now, by knowing your rights, you can prevent others from copying, from selling, okay? doing other abusive uh, artwork against, uh, against your work. Okay? Um, and it gives you ownership. It gives you ownership to what you have done.